Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome to Self Made. I'm Cole Joseph, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up your very first crypto wallet. But first, we have to go over the different types of crypto wallets, so you know which one to get, which one you wanna get, and what they all do, and how it all works. And you gotta know what you're getting yourself into. So let's go over that real quick. The main two different types of crypto wallets is hot wallets and cold wallets, okay? A hot wallet essentially means a wallet that is online, and a cold wallet means a wallet that is offline, like a uh, USB hard drive or like a paper wallet or something. So as you can see, you have paper wallets, which is literally you're writing down your keys to all of your cryptos and everything on a piece of paper, and that's how you're doing it. And you also have hardware wallets, which is what I have. This is what a cold storage hardware wallet looks like. It just looks like a little USB drive, essentially. This is a Ledger Nano X. It's a, uh, in my opinion, a really good one to have. I have it linked to MetaMask. But if you're in my, say someone was able to hack into my MetaMask and they tried to move some of my coins, unless they had my ledger device to literally hit these two buttons and accept the transaction and approve it on this, you're not gonna be able to move my coins. You have to have this and my seed phrase to get into my wallet. It's just an extra layer of security. You'll keep your codes on your USB drive offline where they can't be hacked. It's the best way. In my personal opinion, it's the best way to keep your crypto, period. We have the hot wallet side, which has desktop wallets, as you see right here, I have crypto.com as a desktop wallet. I also have Exodus as a desktop wallet. It's a wallet you can access from your desktop and uh, your codes are stored on your computer's hard drive. The next one we have web wallets. Now that's how I do a lot of my, you know, cryptoing is on a web wallet. I have two different wallets. I have my, my hot storage wallet and my cold hardware wallet. This is my main one I use for trading, connecting to websites, everything, um, connecting to different apps and moving stuff around, doing trading and stuff. And it's uh, just a web wallet on a MetaMask. You also have mobile wallets, which are the wallets that are on your phone. I will show you guys how to set one up today. Also, I need to go over really quick the best crypto wallets. MetaMask, in my opinion, is the best one. It's the one that I'm using, the one with the little wolf. It's a no Bitcoin. Trust Wallet is a really good one, and it does do Bitcoin. Ledger X is my hardware wallet, Ledger X. Uh, DeFi wallet, this is the Kronos one, it was a desktop. We have Terra Station that is specifically the Terra blockchain. So some of these wallets are very specific to the blockchain and then we have Exodus, which is a great all around wallet. Today we're gonna be setting up a MetaMask and I highly recommend a MetaMask. So let's jump to it. If you do wanna get MetaMask on desktop, go to metamask.io and then uh, just download now and it'll give you the web extension. Okay, and then you just click on this and you'll follow along. Go to the app store, wherever you download your apps and go ahead and type in MetaMask. Go ahead and download that. Once that's done downloading, go ahead and open it up, get started, and then you are going to create a new wallet because I'm assuming this is your first time. If you do have a seed phrase, then go ahead and enter that and you already know how to do this. So if you're brand new, go create a new wallet. I agree. Make your password whatever you want it to be. Once you have your password in there, go ahead and hit, and hit create password. Yes, allow to use face. It's just a faster way to get into it. Face recognition. So now you're going to get your seed phrase, which is hands down the most important thing when it comes to a crypto wallet. That is your key to your wallet. If you do not have this code or you lose this code, you will not be able to get into your wallet. There's no one that's gonna be able to help you. You don't have bankers. You don't have people holding your hand in decentralized finance. You have to be in control of all your own information and not lose it. And if you accidentally let this seed phrase get out and somebody else has it, then that person can log into your crypto wallet and take all of your coins and there's nothing you can do about it. So you have to keep it secret and safe. Don't share it with anybody. Go ahead and hit start. Manual, you can do it manually. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna hit view because I'm not actually making this wallet right now. This is a seed phrase. It is 12 words on the ledger, it, like the hardware wallet, it's actually 24, but MetaMask is just 12. So what you wanna do is you wanna write these down on a piece of paper and store them somewhere safe, like, a, like in a safe or a lockbox or something where you know no one else is going to be getting to it because that they will have full access to your money if they get this phrase. And there is no way of changing it either. So honestly, it might not even be a bad idea to write this down like half on one piece of paper, half on another, and you know store them in separate places so if somebody finds it, they have one half but not the other half. Go ahead and hit continue. And then this is where you'll just plug it in to however you wrote it down. Just, you know, do them all out in order. Then hit complete. Then that will open up your MetaMask. I'm going to go ahead and do the recovery phrase to get into mine now. I'll see you in a second. Okay, now that we are inside the MetaMask wallet, you see that you're on the Ethereum mainnet. And if you wanna to switch to another network, you're gonna to have to manually add the network. And if you want to add another coin, you're gonna to have to also import the token. All right, so that is the basics of how crypto wallets work. I will be giving you guys more in-depth tutorials here soon. I'm making a whole series on basically helping newcomers get into the crypto market. I have so many people in my real life that 
you know, are asking these questions and I'm having, I'm having to re-explain it to them over and over and over again. And now I'm just going to copy and paste this video to them and be like, there you go. That's how you do it. Okay. So stay tuned. Anybody new, definitely subscribe. So you're going to learn a lot from this channel and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Cole Joseph. Peace.